Hey guys, it's Alicia Savings and I'm back with another video. And as you guys see from the title, this is going to be the new penny list at Dollar General for Tuesday, October 16th. Now, if you guys are new to penny shopping or you've never penny shopped before, I advise that you do your research into penny shopping before you go out and try to penny shop. Always remember that whenever you go into your stores, never ask your Dollar General employees where the penny items are. If you happen to run across any of the items that are shown in the video today, don't ask your Dollar General employees for a price check on these items because if they ring up a penny, more than likely they're going to tell you that they can't sell you that item because it's been discontinued and they're supposed to have removed them from the shelf or something like that. So if you run across any of the items shown in this video or any of the items that you have seen in any of my previous videos, that is the best way for you to know for sure that that is the item that you're supposed to be looking for. Now I always have picture examples of the items that are on the penny list. I will always include the last four digits of the UPC code. Sometimes the UPC code does not match up to the item, but if you can read the description and to your knowledge the description matches up, if the picture matches up exactly, that item should be a penny. Now ever so often some of the penny items do get reset into the Dollar General inventory so those items will no longer be a penny like how we had those glitch penny items a few weeks ago with the um, Swiss Miss hot chocolate and those Betty Crocker cookie mix the Swiss Miss hot chocolate mix has been reset I had um, a comment on a few videos ago saying that they found some of those but they were back regular price yes Dollar General that was a glitch um, thing that wasn't a regular item that was pennying out those items were not supposed to be ringing up at a penny so for whatever reason they were and a lot of people went in and got those items for a penny but they have since been reset and they're back to their regular price on the shelf so anyways let's get right into this week's video now there are only four new penny items for this week now like i said these items will not penny out until the morning of tuesday october 16th so if you go into your stores on monday the 15th and you see these items you can probably check out and purchase them and they'll probably be at a discounted price but they're not going to be a penny until Tuesday morning and more than likely you may go back Tuesday morning and then may be gone because the Dollar General employees are supposed to pull all of the penny items off of the sales floor to be returned or whatever they do with them. They may just throw them in the trash. I don't know. They're supposed to quote unquote return them according to the memo, but whether they actually do that or not, I don't know. But when the Dollar General employees do fail to go pull those items off the shelf we get to go in and purchase those items for just one penny so like i said there's only four items this week now the first item that we have on the list this week is a advil menstrual pain relief and i actually have purchased some of these and i actually want to dug the picture that's going to be in the video for this um i took from my item that i have at home and i actually um looked at the expiration and they have actually already expired they expired in april of 18 so you may not run across any of those items in your stores if your stores have already checked them and seen that they've expired and maybe they've already pulled them from the shelf. Um, so I don't know if you may find any of those or not or if you would even want to purchase them when they've already been expired. But anyway, so it's going to be a 20 count Advil pain relief menstrual. So it's Advil menstrual pain relief. They've got it worded weirdly like on the Dollar General memo. So I had to... <laughs> reword it so i could understand what i was talking about okay that's a 20 count tablet and the last four digits of the upc code on that are 0209 and i did match that upc up to the ones that i have here at the house and it is a match so if you run across that the upc should match exactly 0209 and then the second item that we have on the list this week is a preparation h wipes and it's a little totable um it's in, it comes in a little box and there's like individual packs of wipes inside of it. It's a 10 count box and the last four digits of the UPC code on that are 8075. And then we're going to have some Vagisil Feminine Wipes Medicated. So they're Vagisil Medicated Feminine Wipes. And they are in a little box. It's got 12 individual wipes inside of there. And the Preparation H Wipes and the Vagisil Wipes and the Advil menstrual pain relief actually all three of the those items were all located on clip strips throughout the dollar general store so they may still be on those clip strips they may be in your clearance sections or in the discontinued sections maybe the little um last chance rack that's in the front of the stores or whatever if you go to look for these items but they were all hanging on clip strips originally and that's just the little like plastic little thing that hangs down from the shelf and it's got like little white things that they just hang the 
like little white pegs they hang the merchandise on so those were hanging on a clip strip over like near the pads in one of the stores near me so i would check there but i think the actually i think all of those items were hanging over there like in the feminine section but anyway so the vagisil feminine vagisil medicated feminine wipes are a 12 count box and the last four digits of the upc code on that are 0020 and then the last item that we have on the penny list for this week is the ragu bold and spicy spaghetti sauce it's a 24 ounce glass jar bottle and the last four digits of the upc on that are 0170 and i actually also have some of that at the house too because when they i think it was last clearance sale or two clearance sales ago i did purchase those um at a clearance price because i told you guys that i really like that bold and spicy ragu sauce and i was upset that dollar general was um discontinuing that item so i went on and i purchased all of them that the local store to me had left which was like seven jars and sadly i've already went through all of those except for like one but um and i've also i checked at walmart to see if they had the bold and spicy sauce and i didn't see any there but anyway that's beside the point so like i said we got four items this week um so yeah y'all go out search for these items on tuesday october 16th um and as always i want to thank you guys so much for watching this video like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video